Hi all, I will walk you over SAP assignment 4. Uh, this SAP assignment 4 is on decision tree analysis. So, download your Excel file transformer failures and then we will start working on that assignment. So, the objective of this assignment is to use data visualization and data mining techniques to discover hidden trends in data set and using predictive analytics to anticipate future behavior to help make decisions that lead to desired goals and the activities here are important preparing data perform data cleansing create data visualization apply data mining algorithm configure predictive models analyze and interpret output and publish the results so what is decision tree uh, this is basically a predictive analytic model okay so the business scenario is about transformer failures now equipment failure is an inevitable reality of all utility companies preventive maintenance is the best way to avoid costly failures delays in customer service and expensive repairs such maintenance can be done on a regular basis for all equipment but may not be economical predictive maintenance identifies which equipment is likely to fail in a given set of constraints such as time period event and load we would like to predict the fail the failure probability based on historical data a decision tree is a hierarchical tree shaped model that is used to determine how one choice at a node leads to the next with a statistical probability the branches at each node are mutually exclusive decision trees are particularly useful when the outcome of a decision cannot be predicted with certainty also when the number of influencing factors are large we will be using a recursive partitioning algorithm from r called r part this is implemented in expert analytics as r cnr tree okay so let's start so open predictive analytics then go to new document use microsoft excel go to your <coughs> excel file transformation failure then show the record count and then create okay so from here we will go to the predict tab okay Go to algorithm and we will be using decision tree CNR R CNR tree and then we will configure it uh, like this. Okay. So here in the column column selection we will see select one then two overloads miles from ocean, manufacturer, water exposure, multiple connects, storm, asset type, repairs, and then age. Okay. The target variable will be chosen as status and new column information instead of predictive values we will write predictive status okay and then we'll say done okay then uh, from the writer component we'll choose the csv writer and then we will configure it with file name we'll go to browse and then we will just do the uh, decision tree underscore last name okay and then I'll just say save and then I will say done okay now 
I have to run the model. Say OK. OK. Now I want to go at the end and see that predictive status has been uh, included and I want to move it by the side of the status so that I can see clearly. Extend this. So you can see status and predictive status. Okay. There are many false positives and false negatives also in the status and predictive status. Uh, but this is the time to take a screenshot. So take a screenshot which will show your status and predictive status uh, and paste it in your Word document. Okay. Then what we will do is we will go to this model representation here. And uh, basically, you have to move it around and you will see the model which will tell you you know the impact of different factors on failure and on uh, success of the equipment okay and take a screenshot of this and paste it in your uh, word document so we can look at this for predictors of transformer failures basically. Okay, then we switch to the confusion matrix and this is interesting. You will see that actual failure and predicted failure. So look at the true positive 88%. Okay, then this one look at actual okay and predicted OK, 76. So the off diagonal values basically, so it, it is predicted to be OK. Model accuracy is 84%. OK. So it's predicted to be OK and it is OK is 80%. True positive. OK. And here, same thing, predicted to be failure and true, truly failure, true positive is 88%. Okay. Now, um, at this point, <coughs> um, you have to uh, answer question number one which you have to explain the results seen, seen, seen in the chart above. Basically, you tell about uh, the true positives for both failure and both for OK. Now, click on algorithm summary here and go down to find out the importance of the variable. Look at the importance of the variable and take a screenshot of this. So, based on the values displayed, what three variables are considered most important when determining causes for transformer failures? You can see age, uh, then asset type, and then overloads. Okay, then look at the which three vari uh, question number three B, which three variables are considered least important when determining causes for transformer failures. So for that, lowest importance will be water exposure. Okay, then multiple connectors 14 and also manufacturer at 35. So these are the ones of lowest importance. Okay. So now what we will do is from the file menu, we will select save. 
okay uh, we will enter decision tree then last name and then you save it you save it locally okay and you submit this word document uh, to blackboard that is your uh, assignment 4 thank you